Let's go. We're back on Rocket League just in time for tourney. I swear we might actually win this one. We haven't played with each other in so long. We might actually have brains now. You sure don't have brain rocking the Panthers decal? That franchise fell off harder than Trump's financial status in the late 90s. Let's be honest. Even my financial status wasn't that bad. The Panthers are so washed, you might as well, considering them a dang scrub daddy. They won't have a winning season for the next five years on my mama. Haters gonna hate, but I swear we're coming back. I'm betting that we're gonna come back in the later half of the season and win the Super Bowl. We're just like that. Ooh, the dementia really has progressed to the point you're betting on teams that are so trash that the dumpster man doesn't even want to pick it up. The only thing the Panthers are going to win is the worst NFL record. They already won it. At least they can say they're the best at losing rather than saying they're the best at nothing. Trash-ass wide receivers. If you get a dot on your helmet and you drop the ball, you should automatically be exiled to a Canadian league or some shit. You put all your eggs in one basket? Trade away the best running back the league has ever seen for a QB who doesn't have options. Yeah, you're gonna lose, unlike us in this tourney. What the fuck happened? Joe has a SSL tourney title and Donald had an SSL title all along? What the heck have we really been gone that long? Yeah, man, been a minute. I solo queued a tourney while I was eating my Halloween candy and ultimately won out. Can't really say it wasn't expected because I'm just like that. Yeah, I kind of just fell off. I didn't want to flex it to monkeys like you, but I had dog in me all along. Y'all just never realized it because you're so set on a GC2 mindset. You wouldn't know an SSL1 if it hit you in the face. Yeah, mm -hmm. the only way you're GC is if you bought an account, you're so trash at this game, you actually might be handicapped. Have you checked yourself lately? You were never GC. I'm banking on that shit being a fake title. Yeah, I have been GC, bro. Are you tweaking? I literally have played GC games with your ass, maybe not SSL ones because it's been so long, but you're acting like you've never seen me in GC. I've never seen you play this game longer than an hour before you start tilting off and crying because you're so trash banking on a fake SSL title, honestly. Don't know how your stupid ass did it, but you did it. Probably a bot account. Thank you, Joe. I know he ain't SSL. I know he's never been SSL. I could go for half-ass flip resets that ultimately lead into me just giving the ball away and consider it goaded. But I choose not to because I want to rank up. Oof, don't think that's going to be helpful. You haven't touched this game in a minute. I doubt you're going to be as good as you were before. Well, that is if you've ever been good at anything other than stumbling on your own words. No shot fog horn leg horn over here criticizing me for stumbling on my own words, brother. You are the equivalent of a damn rotisserie chicken because the only thing you're cooking is yourself. Um, only thing I'm cooking is the defense. I mean, literally, I'm shredding these kids and they just sitting back while I demo them. Donald Goodfollow, glad you actually played close enough instead of sitting in the back waiting for an air dribble play for your trash ass montage. Figured you were lacking the brain power to do anything in that situation other than a bump. At least you knew to go for a bump. You do have a bad habit of absolutely choking. Going for a flip reset. Yep, I'd expected, Joe, you should stop going up in the air because your brain is so hollow that the thought of hitting a flip reset just instantly leaves your mind. You're just jealous. You don't know when to take the time to actually fucking go for an air play. You think too quick. And it makes you just not have enough time to do anything other than cry about someone going up in the air. Mad cause bad. Sounding like Lil Bitch. Holy shit, Joe, I swear I thought you just owned gold there. We almost got scored on. I think we should focus up. I don't have to focus on anything like Master Yoda said. If no mistake you have made, losing you are. A different game you should play. Implying if you're fucking ass and you think you're good, you should play the game. Exit stage left. I'm confused we should or shouldn't instructions are unclear. Can you clear them up for us, Joe? Yeah, I'm a bit lost as to what you're talking about at this point. You quote Yoda and say, if you're ass, you should play the game. Yeah, man, you're not coming through. You shouldn't, I meant, Shouldn't Christ you'd think I was talking to a bunch of children? Coming from the 80-year-old straight out the retirement home, I consider that a compliment. Only compliment I'm going to give you is that your orange brightness is so distracting, you're blinding the fucking defense. Honestly, the only way you score, probably. Ah, shit, I missed better. Save that, Joe. Jump, bitch. Damn it, Joe, what are you doing? Focus up, man. Get those monkey reflexes going. You're talking about a monkey when an orangutan just did a 360 no-scope silent shot with a banana in one hand and a damn George of the Jungle Vine in the other to own goal. Obama needs to focus up, not me. 
was an unlucky bounce get off my back. Also, you can't call me a monkey because that's low-key racist on my mama. Why do you want to keep acting like you can get away with this shit because you got the mental of a child? I call everyone a monkey. No discrimination. I just happen to call you a monkey more because you're ass at this game. Maybe if you put down the TikTok and picked up a controller, you'd actually have that dog in you. Nice pass, Joe. Really like when you played the beat there instead of that crap where you just play a low 50. You play the beat and we score like always, I swear, man. Just beat these kids to the ball and we win. I guess you're valid for that, Joe, but you do know I'm better than you. Better at catching L's, maybe. You ain't beating me in anything other than CSGO or some shit. Oh, hell yeah, pass that Donald down mid. One more Donald, don't flip reset. Don't, oh, what a snipe, you see that? Your ass, Obama, take notes. Get your little notebook out and write shit down. Yeah, I didn't go for a flip reset there. I uh, wanted to fake the flip reset and pass it to you just like I planned. Oh, what a kickoff. Oh my God, absolutely slotted. We just turned on the afterburners on these kids. Let's go, guys. We're going the length this time. I swear we're going to win this tourney. No bullshit this time. Bro, can y'all stop hogging the ball? The viewers are going to think I ain't doing shit and I'm trolling. Let me have a few touches. This ain't a make-a-wish kid day. You get the touches if you deserve them. And so far, you're so off the mark, you might actually need a map to find your way around the field. Yeah, it's not good looks when you're under 100 midway through the game. Really should change that, Obama. You struggling ain't really supporting the case that you can carry your own. Oh wow, he finally found a free net about time you did something. What about a fat Gorlock looking bitch? How many points do they get? 426, yeah, I'm happy right where I'm at. It shows I have the ability while also showing that I'm not going to sit here and lose. You're not gonna lose because we're carrying your ass up the ranked ladder well tourney ladder to a victory. Just sit back in your racing gaming chair and let us carry. Save us the time. Been saying that you're not good, Obama. That's why we have white titles and you have a gold title. Your ass is a pilgrim and you need to accept that. You're like Lightning McQueen in that cars race where the next gen cars say, enjoy your retirement. You help find the meta in this game, you old bitch. Now lay back and stop playing while the next gen gamers pull up. Not gonna lie to you, I got this title with little to no effort. Y'all didn't play back then because you had the mental of damn politicians who knew if you couldn't cheat the game, then why play it? Y'all just sucked and I was goaded. I played the game, I have like 7K hours in this hoe. I always played Rocket League from day one. It came out on PS4. Not a flex, little bro. You've spent almost a full half year on a game and you still didn't manage to get the best rank. You're wasting your limited time to pull a shitty GC tourney title. Bro, it's not wasting your time. If you enjoy it, you're just mad that you got carried this game. And I think that's fine, but don't come after Joe like that bro's fragile. Only fragile thing in this lobby is your spinal cord that's probably one second away from snapping like a damn toothpick, my boy. I got 7K hours deep in your mom. Get burned, Obama, little nerd. You got 7K hours left on this planet, Joe? You ain't got nothing to look forward to other than your dang casket that probably has an ice cream machine in it. Bro, how'd you know? Pre-ordered that shit with a casket manufacturer. Sucks they can only get vanilla, though. Maybe I want some chocolate. Maybe I was strawberry. You gonna give me the most basic shit, I swear, bro. I'm going to haunt them, I promise you. Least you don't haunt me. Couldn't bear to hear your voice anymore. Once you're done, please be done. If you decide to come back, wait for me to be dead, too, so I can at least not have a handicap on the roster anymore. Oh, you're beat now, big fella. I'm after your ass like that. As soon as I go, first thing I'm going to do is haunt your ass. Ooh, Donald, this is your friend, Joe Esfar Biden. What kind of ASMR shit was that, man? You really going to say your full name to me if you're haunting me? That's weird. I find that odd. Why is that odd? Probably because when you get haunted, you don't have ghosts giving you a full phone book head ass name. You usually just get a classic old yo bro. This is Joe, I'm haunting you. Leave a message after the beep kind of vibe. That's it, you're haunted now too, Obama. Sucks to be you. You're going to never sleep again if I haunt you. Haunt your muted mic button so we don't have to hear you. Focus up, we're going into round two and these kids look tough. Second round once again. Can't wait to see how Joe finds a way to throw. What's it gonna be this time? Controller DC, life alert going off mid-match. Hey, I'm not the one who AFKs just to get DoorDash who orders before a tournament. I mean, really, what are you trying to say, bro? Don't be a hypocrite, little bro. Y'all both find reasons to toss. I'm the only one who doesn't toss. You toss by, playing the game normally, the way you rotate the inconsistent touches, basically coming together to give a whirlwind of trash. 
Yeah, at least we have the option to throw your just natural. So I guess that's something to be proud of. Why don't you throw yourself on a treadmill fat ass while you're going to come after me right before tourney start? I just said I was the one who wasn't throwing. Tourney already started, unlike your brain. You want to give it another go, or did you mean the match start? Bro, hearing you talk is just so irritating, like a gnat flying around your damn head and you can't do nothing because it's crossing you up like Kyrie. All the basketball players in the world, and you choose that little man, could have chose LeBron or Curry, but nah, let's choose Kyrie Irving, bro, is almost irrelevant nowadays. Almost as irrelevant as your ass without lawsuits, unless you score this shoot at Donald on net. Yes, sir. You know we don't miss those unless uh, it's any other day when I don't have any dog in me. You know what they say, lacketh, the dogeth, the poodle you are. What does that even mean? Trying to be a Yoda, but you're acting like a sixth grader made a damn poem. I made a poem in sixth grade once. It was titled, Rotate Normal, You Apes, You're Killing Our Defensive Posture. Bro, I know you're saying that shit about me. Why are you acting like I was the one out of rotation there? You cut me and took the ball from me. Don't act like I was the one who screwed up when you cut me off. All right, big fella, there is no cutting off. This isn't a McDonald's double lane drive through All right, you need to understand if I'm going fast and the ball is going fast, raise hell, praise Dale, that ball is mine. The only ball you're going for is the one that's located in your senior citizen rest home pool. A hole five inches deep and I bet your ass would still find a way to drown. Nah, no shot he would find a way to drown. Thank you, Donald. My money is he trips before he even gets in the pool and then drowns in it because he gets knocked out. I feel like the odds are better on that parlay. The fuck, Donald, you said you were gonna stop sports betting. How are you betting if I drown in a pool because I tripped? What are the odds of that shit happening? 2.5 million to one. But that means I can turn a dollar into two million. So it's worth the risk. I fill out at least 10 of these a day and I ultimately get ahead in the long run because although I put 200,000 bets in one of them, is bound to hit. 99% of gamblers quit before they hit it big. Keep up the effort, Donald. You're bound to win one of these days. And when you do, you can write a book like Michelle does and title it The Way I Won. More money on top of it all. Was going to title it Why the Hell Can't Obama Trust Me Once instead of going for a half-ass air dribble, bro. You could have left that and I would have had the easy carry-on double touch just like Squishy does. The only thing Squishy here, big fella, is your gut now. Stop acting like you're him. The closest thing you are to anything relatable on this field is a beached whale. Welcome to salty shores where the salt flows like it does in Donald's arteries. Oh my God, I hit, oh my God, I hit. Jill, Jill, get the camera, bitch, get the camera. We hit a clip, oh my God, oh my God. Bro jumps off the ceiling one time and acts like he just cured cancer. Jesus, we fell so far off a cliff in mental, we take that as a celebratory goal. That wasn't a clip, Joe. That's a generic shot. You ain't put no spice on that shit, so it was bland as hell. Sorry it's not your eighth burrito or some shit that was actually a fire goal. I don't know what you're smoking, but it sure as hell didn't come out of Hunter's duffel bag. I thought it was a nice shot, Joe. Don't see Donald putting up shots like that. The only thing he's putting up is the amount of calories he can inhale. Sorry, I don't stoop to the level of you plebs, to the point I consider that a insane shot man was acting like he just hit a 720 fakie silent shot on rust. Step off, little fella, you didn't hit anything. And you need to realize that's nothing to be hyped about. I'll be hyped about some shit if you hit something. Why do you gotta put me down like that? Sit on every little bit of hype I had, crushed it like you accidentally crushed Melania that one time. Hey, 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 those were rumors and it was accidental. I didn't know she was there in my favorite chair. It just sucks that she got in the way. Anyway, she was out of the hospital in like three days. No problem. Joe spending all that time talking and no time focusing on the game. Bro, if you cut deeper in that rotation, you could have saved it, but nope, you want to drive directly back to net like you're a shitter on autopilot. And if you don't blindly jump on it, acting like you're gonna somehow dunk through a smoke screen, then we wouldn't have to worry about us getting scored on you stay back post, then you just save it 100%. I just want it to be known. I didn't mean to pass to them. I was trying to get a hand on it, but I got killed right off the touch. Let's just hold we're doing fine. We just got to not choke one goal. I think we can manage that so long as Obama doesn't turn his brain off. Bro, you're telling me I got to worry about me turning my brain off? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? I wouldn't doubt you haven't your brain probably shut off to protect you from yourself. I don't choke, you're the only one who didn't rotate properly. Mm-hmm, and you're the one who blindly pre-jumped. 
You can't really put blame on me like that if it really wasn't my fault. I think you really should think about what you say before you say it, or can you even say anything without Michelle threatening to hit you? Bro, I swear to God, we're so much chiller when we're not recording. Why do we act like this? What are you talking about, you idiot? You're acting like we're doing a damn emotional support group. The only difference is we're not recording, we're not chiller. Only thing chilled is our souls. When the recording starts, we record behind the scenes we're banned. The FBI is at our door and we're exiled like Napoleon. Speak for yourself. I'm not going to get banned like that. I don't say anything. I have all the audio clips. So if y'all test me too much, one day y'all are just going to get leaked on. Let's be honest, Joe Obama was a liability anyway. I think we just old yeller his ass and we just don't talk about it. But if we do this, we have to commit he knows too much. Bro, I'm right here. I got a hotkey ready to publish all the chat logs. Just accept it. Nice shot, by the way, Joe. I know you're happy about scoring an open shot like that. I score an open shot, I get grilled. I scored a ceiling shot, I get grilled. What do y'all want from me for real? I don't know what you want. Next time I'm whiffing a shot, I'm gonna start trolling if y'all keep acting like everything I do is wrong. Wouldn't be that much of a difference, honestly. At least you're like 50% consistent with your shooting, which is better than what Obama can say. That man shoots like a blind person. No idea how he even manages C3. I went zero and two from the field because the shots I had were harder than Joe's. Joe got like two open shots. I don't know what you want from me. We want results, how you're going to shoot zero and two from the field, and then complain when someone grills you on your shooting. Just put it on net and try to get it on, but oh, wait, you shoot it right at them every time. Bro, you try to shoot the shots I got, and you're just going to do something that there was nothing we could do, man. So get off me and get ready for the third round. I'm not trying to get knocked out here. I need a title. Bro, is there really no Israeli flag? Come on, man, I got to rep the boys. Ukraine just isn't the main story anymore, and I want the world to know we rep in Israel now. Not trying to be that guy, Joe, but repping a flag in a somewhat controversial conflict ain't the move. Do you want re-election or not there's people out there who support Palestine and then someone who supports Israel? You need to play both sides. That's how you win an election. Bro really said Palestine, it's Palestine, my boy. Focus up, Obama. You're already zero for one on comments today. That's not good looks for our tournament outlook. Look, I already put the carriers in the Mediterranean, so either I'm repping the Israeli flag or I'm repping nothing because those carriers are a lot of money. And I could have them just, I don't know, sail around and shit, but nah, I'm supporting my boys in Israel. Bro's repping World War III. Been saying it, been saying. Joe is going to cause World War III. Come on, boys, give me my credit. I was the one who said that would happen, and look, even Obama is starting to call it out. Let's go, bro, I got that shit right. You know, if you're right, the world kind of ends, so is it really worth it being right if you're basically dead? I'm not dead. I bought a nuclear silo bunker I saw in a Mr. Beast video. You already know I had to cop when I realized it had a pool. Skedaddle, skadoodle, y'all going to be turned into ash while I play with my pool noodles. No, uh, I'm going to be on a secret plane that holds all of our government officials and I'm going to be hiding in a mountain or something. I'll be fine. Obama is the one who's probably toasted. Whatever it takes to spare me from y'all's Rocket League gameplay, if that's the ticket out, then bitch, I'm on the front row of that nuclear blast. What the fuck do you think this is a ride of Disney? Wherever they hit, it's gonna hit no matter what. You could be like four miles from ground zero and you chop cheddar, my boy. You're gonna be on a one-way ticket to Jesus, Allah, Buddha. I don't really know just whoever you believe in. The only question is what I will be watching when the internet goes out. Ooh, ooh, we can hang out maybe. Do a connecting tunnel or something so we can hang out together while the world ends. I have a box set of Lord of the Rings and a box set of Harry Potter. Bro, why are you sounding like you just, what's wrong with you, Joe? Why are you sounding like Zaxby's zesty sauce? I swear when Joe gets excited, he changes genders. Has to be a neurological thing if we already wrote off dementia and other abnormalities with his mental. Have we considered retardation? I swear I don't think we've covered that it might be something else genetically or could be amoeba. You wrote that off 40 videos ago. Y'all are getting soft. Just like the defense he shoots, he scores. Let's go, gamers. We're in there, in there so hard, goaded for real. Mid-shot, mid-placement. Everything about that was about as standard as a six-piece chicken nugget meal from McDonald's. Shout out Donald for keeping stereotype of being a fat fuck who only knows two things in life, and that's McDonald's and the Weight Watchers subscription he doesn't use. I don't even have it anymore. I don't know what you want from me, but it sure as hell don't be lining up with the roast you're dishing out. I always wondered why Donald's car always was a bit leaning, if that makes any sense. 
The side he gets on is almost scraping the ground, actually. Now that I mention it, I kind of see it in RL, too. How are you going to survive in a nuclear bunker if you eat up all the food in one day? You're just chomping away, and you're going to have to sleep so you can actually store the energy like a bear does when it hibernates. Bro, holy hell, did you really not think this through? I have crops growing, and that little microwave thing from Spy Kids that automatically makes a McDonald's Big Mac meal was a solid cop I got back in the 2000s. Still use it to this day. That thing never existed. I checked. It wasn't even in the back of the Nickelodeon magazine I bought in like 2004. It usually has like cool gadgets and stuff, but apparently they just didn't have the McDonald's microwave. Dang, I wish I got one. Sucks to suck, natural selection. I know I'll be eating a McNugget meal while you're going to be eating stale-ass bread that has some mold on it. Tragic world we live in where the biggest fella gets the biggest options. Well, if you're a fat fuck like yourself, you're going to spend more money on food, right? You're going to be actively keeping your bunker supplied so you can always have it stocked up with food. And that food is going to either be fatty food that expires in like a year or food that can actually keep you healthy. I feel like we both know what you're choosing, so it's really not a surprise, big fella. Yeah, I know y'all saw that shot from me, slotted right in the bottom right. Oh crap, we got fans in the chat. Look at that, guys, we're getting noticed. You aren't getting noticed. There would be no presidents if it wasn't for me. Hell, I'm the one who does all the editing and shit while y'all just kick back, relax, and dish out half-ass roasts that I have to somehow make funny. I've seen the videos, you don't chop anything up. You just add our voices. Editing probably isn't even that hard. Just look up those small videos for Premiere, and then bam, you're cooking. Bitch, you don't even know what you're talking about, bro. Is a tweaker, I'm telling you. Getting into that shit Baron got into to make his ass like eight foot tall. No cap, Donald, you need to get your son in the NBA. Bro is going to be the next taco. Yeah, he gets the D1 height from me, and he gets everything else from, well, me, I guess. Anyway, shut the fuck up, Joe. We need to win, and we're tied. We can't let the fans win. It would be demoralizing, like Kobe getting crossed up by a 22-year-old kid who thought he could score on the best. Don't worry, I got it. Yep, nice pass, Donald. We're in there, boys. We're in there like we're supposed to be in there. Gaming like gamers should be gaming. We're officially through this round, I'm pretty sure. That is, if Donald doesn't choke and Joe doesn't kill over from all this excitement, well, can I keep talking then? If we're up two with like less than a minute left, I feel like we're pretty solidified to win this. I'd rather have a meaningful discussion rather than just sit in here hard common and already won game. Ain't no way in hell we're ever going to have a meaningful discussion in this chat. The closest thing we can get to that is probably us talking about foreign policy. But we end up just trolling you so you send money to Ukraine again and they end up using it to keep their economy afloat while your poll numbers go down and inflation goes up. Oh, shit, I wasn't supposed to say that, my bad. Uh, la, lag, help, help. Bro, you don't even know what you're on about. I'm not taking y'all's advice on that shit. Taking advice from one of the 400 advisors I got on standby, monitoring the situation while I'm over here doing the real democratic thing and crossing kids up in Rocket League. Doesn't surprise me, those advisors are doing more for the country than what you've done in the past 30-something years you've been in Congress. You've been half-ass casting votes left, right, and center, and somehow getting the presidency because Donald fumbled the bag so hard. Now shut up and let's focus on going to the next round. All right, so I don't know who we're playing, but we're getting in Smurf territory. We need to be vigilant. We have to stay ready because we might get Jesus Christ on the other team. And if we can't lock him down, we're just going to get flip reset on, and then we're clipped on, laughed at and I'm pretty sure we're going to lose subs. So let's just make sure we win this one. These viewers are tired of losing. Probably tired of seeing your old raggedy ass do the same shit rotation over and over again expecting a win. Yeah, not going to lie to y'all, don't get your hopes up. Joe really ain't all there mentally and hasn't been for some time. Probably can see that from his gameplay, but just know we probably won't win. <laughs> We're going to win. Just ignore him, cheery and hopeful as always. Fucking douchebag, man. If you go in with a losing mental, you're going to lose. Just remember that. If you're going with a hospice patient who has dementia on your team, you're going to lose. But look at us. We're defying the odds. Plucked a hole in your theory like you plucked a hole in our foreign policy. Bro, what does that even mean? I didn't pluck a hole in our foreign policy. The only thing I plucked a hole in is your clean arrest record. Go straight to jail and do not collect 200 bucks when you pass go. I ain't joking either. 
Yo, bro, imagine we have a Monopoly night. That would be lit. But I feel like Donald would pass out or something after he eats food. Joe probably wouldn't remember how to buy and sell stuff, so I guess I just win. Let's just cut to the chase and say, I won Monopoly night. I know how to play Monopoly. I collect a paycheck, and then Jill pays the bills. Then she gives me an allowance of like 100 bucks a month. You wish you all were that lucky. Bro, Social Security checks are more than that shit. What does she do with all your money? Don't you live at the White House? Like, what bills is she paying? Nah, some fishy shit is going on there. No cap, no kizzy. Oh, dang. The no cap, no kizzy has been established. We are officially in DEF CON 2, lads. All right, Joe, that means you're required to answer the question, what is happening to your money? Well, I mean, I don't really know. I think that she just pays the bills for our home. I don't know. Either way, I get free food every day, so the only time I use the 100 is to donate $2 as gratitude when they prompt me for a tip when I go to a fast food place. Okay, that's why you're a broke bitch. You start handing out to everyone who comes calling. What do you think is going to happen? They want your money. That's why they try to guilt trip you into tipping. Just don't tip, little bro. It ain't that deep. They're not going to cry over it. They're already getting paid. Let them complain to their manager if they don't like how much it is. Of course, the billionaire doesn't want to shell out the two extra dollars to help the working man. Sad world man, sad as shit. I sure didn't become a billionaire by just giving my money away like it was candy on Halloween budget your 100 bucks and put it in a Roth IRA with a solid investment firm. Damn, you're wild, bro, wild. You know who else says that? Like the 200 other TikTok people who are trying to give out financial advice and you know what they do after? They ask you to buy a class or some cheese like that. Doesn't make any sense on my mama. All right, love the enthusiasm, but why didn't anyone acknowledge my bouncer shot that was absolutely placed, slotted, dotted, and clotted into their net? Don't know if that works, but it works for me. Probably because it was a mid-tier shot. You want a good shot, add some flip resets into it, and actually add some style. Maybe a dang fake, at least not that crappy shot that went over them by luck. What about that one? Caught the defense lacking and placed that bottom left ski because, you know, that's what we do. Probably a better shot than the other one, honestly. I think it was a better shot, Joe. You caught the defense out and placed it. Really can't ask for anything better in that situation. Especially when it comes to long-range dingers like that, yes, sir. Could have, uh, you know, put a little bit of flair. Maybe if you went for a flip reset or something, it would be like 100 times better. But I mean, if it goes in, I guess it goes in. Okay, just saying, not every goal has to have a flip reset. Have you seen RLCS? There's insane shots on there all the time that don't have a flip reset or fake it in. Yet there's still some of the most disgusting shots ever. Yeah, Donald, why you always want a flip reset like you're able to do one? I've seen you miss more flip resets than you miss court dates. It actually might be insane. I don't miss those court dates. I ultimately let a council member go for me like a lawyer. Then I don't have to show up. I just crip walk into the local Waffle House and eat some tasty breakfast and watch that shit on the 32-inch 720p flat screen they got in there. Okay, yeah, you might not want to crip walk in there. It's not good looks, and you'll be on the bad sides of gangs like Timmy was in that South Park episode. Hey, bro, he was welcomed and even got called four legs. So, I mean, it did end up working out for him, so that wasn't too bad. Hell, I'd be happy to be welcomed into a gang. You're already in a gang. It's called Shady Oaks Retirement Home. Y'all's motto probably is we drop dead faster than we drop jello shots. Bro. I hope your ass goes to a fat camp or something like Cartman did. I'd pay for that. Then you can't grill me on anything anymore. You'd be in the same boat with yourself being unable to escape the camp they put you in. I don't think he could escape. Bro can't even escape the back rooms without cheating. How do you think he's going to escape a fat camp? They probably have a track field surrounding it, so if they get remotely close, it will burn their skin like a vampire if he touches garlic. Bro, I already told y'all I used to play middle school football. I'm telling you, I can still run. I still got the legs like I did back then. Give me a chance, y'all ain't ever seen me run. Bro, you huffing and puffing like the big bad wolf after every word over four syllables says otherwise. Get your oxygen tank, we won't judge. You and Obama do the exact same thing and y'all are judging me? Why are you guys going to be hypocrites like that? I mean, really, give me a break. There's a difference. We're normal weights, and you step on a scale, and it automatically calls 911 because it thinks you're about to kill over due to heart complications. In fact, if your scale says error, you might need to go on a diet big boy. Yeah, I don't like the word big boy used. It feels weird like y'all are some edgy couple in high school that used to bark at other people if they got to close. I thought it was the cat people. I swear there was cat people. 
Hell, nowadays it can be anything Apache gunships are spinning up in middle schools nowadays, and no one can be like, yeah, you're not a gunship, little homie, relax. I'm going to call in a gunship on Donald if he doesn't clean up his defensive rotation, bro. You're not going through an Arby's drive through stop, going in circles like you're complaining your fries weren't hot enough. Okay, where did that come from? My rotation is solid right now, and you're picking and choosing like that one douchebag on Master Chef who had to quit because he was such an asshole. I'm telling you, bro, I'm the carry right now. Carrying the calorie count more like, you need to stop with the same old, same old, fix your rotation. I'm about tired of you always not knowing where to be when you're on defense. Not trying to pick sides or anything, but Donald is carrying in points, assists, and saves, so I think we can go easy on him. You scored one goal out of four shots, and you think you're able to critique play? Yeah, man, that's not the move he can easily grill you on points if he wanted to. Surprised he hasn't yet. Thanks for pointing that out. Joe, yeah, your points are low and your shooting is horrific. Why are you trying to talk, little bro? I just wish you could see that if I had that score, you'd be coming after my score. Shot to goal ratio. Height, weight, soul, liver, and my IQ all at once. Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's just close out this series so we can go to the finals. Imagine we win this tournament without dropping a game or just choke in the finals like we usually do about how that usually goes. Have faith, Obama. We got this game. I swear we're going to win this series, and then we can worry about the finals. Yeah, easy for you to say, Joe. You're the one who's getting carried through. Well, Obama lacked this game, but he's going to come back swinging. Trust it. Yeah, man, the hardest part of falling off a cliff is falling off. Once you get the ability to climb back up, it's only up from there. Now, I'm pretty sure falling off a cliff would kill you. Depends on how high the cliff is. How high are we talking Obama? Are we talking a hill or are we talking Mount Everest? We're talking if you don't hit it, we're scored on. Oh my God, Donald, not there. I meant hit it anywhere other than there. You just dimed them up and gave them a goal. Oh great, this is where it starts. Not trying to be that guy Obama, but he owned gold. Did you have ball cam off or something? He didn't dime anything up except himself, which I mean, he's a rather large fellow, so it didn't take much. I panicked. Obama said, hit it, and I hit it. What do you want from me? Oh my God, you have got to be kidding me. Are we really going to troll this game? Who turned off our brains? Obama hard cheating just chopped us. He could have soft cheated and been fine, but now nah, he wanted to sniff my ass and straight up get dunked on like LeBron did on Curry. Look, this wouldn't be a problem if you learned to speed flip. Your default Dan ass isn't going to work in these higher ranks. This isn't Minecraft, bro. You're not just strafing with a damn fishing rod. You have to learn the mechs or you're going to fall behind. Bro fell behind in his second grade art class. Ain't no way he's going to be able to catch up and be at our level. It's why we lose these tourneys on God. He just doesn't have the skill we got Obama. Someone has a white tourney title, need I say more? You might have an SSL tag, but that's because you paid for it on G2A, straight up bought an SSL account with like 50 hours on it. Maybe you should earn your rank, Lil Bro. I did earn my rank, like you earned all the hate you get on social media. I worked my ass off solo, queued through the trenches, and did what you couldn't do in 8K hours. That's longer than you have been alive on my mama. Maybe you should reevaluate your play because it seems you're the one lacking nerd. I'm not the one who complains about misinputs on his controller because his chin's get in the way of his cord. Oh, my cord fell off. Let me lean over and get it. Yeah, bro, we both know if you leaned over, the only thing getting picked up is you off the floor by the paramedics. Loki, you're both about to get picked up off the floor if you don't dial it back. You all need to relax and focus. We're not going to the semis and losing. Like we've played 22 episodes of this shit and they haven't seen a win. Let's change that. Come on, let's do some turbo type shit and clutch up. Man, I love it when the odds kid keeps swinging. It really makes me feel immortal like a Thanos level type immortal. But it does get old like playing Five Nights at Freddy's. Bro, I saw that movie. It had more holes in it than your tax returns. It was so mid and overhyped yet they still like tripled their money and have sequels coming. Doesn't make any sense. Sounds like Obama when he was president magically printing money while in the White House acting all slick like he didn't know what he was doing. No one has that much growth in their net worth other than me. Just like you scoring doesn't make any sense. Cleaning up the play per usual Donald, really trying to shoot it off the wall to a free net because you did it all right? Yeah, my ass, the only thing you did was actually hit an open net. Oh, someone got their field wings hurt? All little baby sad. Shut up, bitch, get carried, sit in the back seat, car seat, I got you in and strap in. We're cooking and you're not even baking yet. 
Donald talking like a baby seems very fitting for some reason, like the planets aligning or some horoscope type shit. Oh, please. The only reason you like it is because you understand it more than you would if I were to talk normally, Joe. You need to step up. You can't let me be at the top of the leaderboard. Shit, you won't be at the top because I will. I'm ready to carry. I just need a few outlet passes and y'all to sit back. I'm going to be hitting them nutter butter angs while y'all pitch a tent in our own net. Bro thinks because he's black, he's going to be able to receive them. Outlet passes like that. Yeah, step off, little bro, rotate back and play defense. It's probably the only thing you can do. Whoa, the fuck, man. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant I'm fucking better than you. The hell, man. Why did you have to bring race into it? I can see Donald doing it, but not you. Come on, Joe, do better. You're probably going to rerun in 2024, and this ain't a good start. The only time I bring race into anything is when I try to hire people. Like, if I need a math person, I'm going to hire an Ash. Whoa, whoa, red card, red card. Don't say it, Donald. Oh, come on, this guy gets to be racist, but God forbid I hire someone smart. Look at the U.S. math team. It's not because it's a stereotype, it's because they're fucking smart and their country is just more strict with education. Let's not sugarcoat it. Let's not sugarcoat the fact you didn't rotate back after I got demoed and it led to a goal. Yeah, let's not sugarcoat how shit you are with your field awareness. Pay attention to the game instead of making blatantly racist remarks. Do better, Donald. Dementia bitch gets to do that, but I don't. Some media bias, if I've ever seen, let it be known this is CNN's doing. Finish. I couldn't hit. Let's go. Nice shot, Donald. We're live, boys. We are live. Let's do it. Focus up. We're winning for the votes. I mean viewers. Winning so you can stop screaming in my ear. Dial it back some. I know you're all hyped up on your leftover Halloween candy. Just dial it back. You might not have a brain, but I do. And it's telling my ears, if they don't stop accepting sound, it's going to shut down. I'm dead throw that shit backboard for Joe Donald. Come on one time. Nice finish. I got this. Daddy Joe is about to. Put it away. Let's go. Good pass, Donald. We came back. We just need to win now, and we're cooking. Let's score before OT. Joe needs to work on his placement. I mean, really, did you see where he put that ball? That's absurd, man. You almost gave them a chance to save it. What if that was our only chance to come back? What if this is your only chance to win a tourney? Shut up, man. Why can't you just be hyped one time, always crying about some shit? Straight up calls out liberals for crying about everything. Yet your ass is sniffling over a poorly placed shot that still went in. Probably just the hormones. I know he's going through a lot of changes right now with his new diet and all. Oh shit, Melania said, don't talk about it because he's very irritable. Like a smoker who quits right off the bat and still has the urge to smoke, but it's with food when it comes to Donald. Bro, why are you making it out like I'm a damn teenager going through shit? Bro, this isn't no Taylor Swift music video, man. I'm just calling out his shot could have been better placed, and he wouldn't have had to risk the one chance we probably would get to tie it up. Not really a bad call out, y'all. Just mad I'm right. Just mad that you're not hyped about it. You're just nitpicking and making the comm sound more negative because you wanted to dodge the fact it went in. Can't be hyped about your team? Sad, bro, just sad. When you won the election, I straight up was hitting the gritty for you, but now I'm not so sure I would. The gritty didn't even exist when I won the election. So I know you're lying. You were probably crying in Hillary's arms, and it wasn't even your election to lose. You just get emotional at the stupidest shit. Like, I swear I saw you crying because one of the Secret Service agents killed a fly that was annoying you. Man up, bro. Your dementia is making you a bitch. Oh, my bad. I was hitting the McGriddle because your diabetic ass was looking for one right after you won. They just changed the name because apparently it was trademarked by McDonald's. God, what did I do to deserve these idiots on my team? I swear it's like the relationship the moon has with the Earth, where the moon just takes hits after hits and the Earth just chills. I'm the moon in this case, and y'all are the Earth. Yeah, that comparison hit about as well as a North Korean missile into the ocean. Sure, you shot it off and hit your target, but the target you hit was about 87% of the Earth or some shit. Good try, though, Obama. Yeah, that wasn't that bad, I don't think. Solid try. I mean, get what you're trying to do, young fella, but I mean, yeah, just... Yeah, you know what Donald said. Oh, my God, please shut up. Just please, Jesus Christ, just let's win. I'm losing chromosomes. Oh, my God, I can't take this. I swear to God, I'm about to alt F4 if we don't win. This is ass. Whoa, man, relax. Having that mental isn't going to let us win. I got the Panthers decal on, and they won against the Texans, so we have to win now. One more goal, and we just win. One more goal, and they win. So it's like we just need to score. I would prefer we just win. I would prefer Obama would stop crying. I would prefer Joe Killover right now.
I will only get one of these choices, and I need to pray it's the one I want. Bro, I know you want me to kill over, but like, don't act like that. I want to win. So if we don't win Obama, I'm going to die. Obama, please, we have to win. You're not going to stop bitching, so I'm just chopped. Yeah, I'm not going to stop bitching because y'all just keep having damn near relationship drama starting to become annoying. Like, let's just win and then cook. Why do we have to have a therapy session every damn time we play this game? Oh, shit, it's free. I'm scoring. I got it, lads. I got this. It's in. We won. We won. We won. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're in the finals. Undefeated. Bring it on home, John B. Let's go, Joe. Let's go. Nice job. We're in this. We're on a streak. We came back. We destroyed. We're going to win this whole thing, baby. Thank God, Jesus Christ, man. Now y'all can have y'all's therapy session. I'm going to mute up and watch TikTok like, Jesus, I can't take this anymore. Y'all talk too much. Nah, bro, that ain't it. We're going right into the finals, I bet. No shot, these guys aren't ready. That OT was so long. Oh, yep, they're ready. Focus up, Obama, we're going to the finals. We're going out with a will to win, and we shall win. Let's go, lads. Holy, we got downsized. Who keeps messing with our pictures? This ruins the videos, man. Can you, like, keep us the same size? Joe, you're the one that edits them. It's not our fault you keep messing with them. Why not just put the same size every video, not that hard? My little nephew could do it. Actually, I kind of like the smaller pictures. Makes me look thinner. I think it makes me look more orange as well. I kind of like it. Joe was just trying to make sure we look good. I didn't do it, man. It's the guy who edits these videos, bro, actually might be on the spectrum. And not the rainbow spectrum, you orange baboon. Look, we need to focus. We're playing in the finals. We've never gotten this far and actually won. So can we please put some effort in? Need a white title? And then get on the magic school bus, bro. I'll carry you to a win like I carry you in every other win. Call me Alec Baldwin, because I'm going to be on a shitty team and carry. Oh, God, we got a high ego. Give me attention, kid, on the other team. I'm top 100, but I'm drunk. So I have an excuse to be ass, because I'm actually not top 100. I swear, if I wasn't set to have a monotone voice, I would be doing some nerdy type shit right now. Bro, stop acting like you don't do something like those guys who set their name to a period like the pros do because they want to feel like they're the main character. Turn your name back the way it was, you're not him. You ain't hiding from no one, except when you drop those comments in chat that get you banned. God, I'm gonna be hiding from you if I keep hearing you talk. Like Joe, dial it back some, you're more talkative than Jimmy Fallon when he has a guest on. Of course, your old yee yee ass watches Jimmy Fallon. If the 40-year-old stay-at-home mom vibe wasn't already apparent shit, you hit a home run with that statement. Hey, man, Jimmy Fallon ain't bad. Hitting up to you, Obama. Throw that at net or something. Just get it mid. Yep, we like that. Keep doing that and we win. Focus up. Keep going. Joe, stop talking. Okay, that's just like what? What the fuck did I do, little bro, while you coming after me? Someone had to supervise the goal and play defense. Not everyone can be upfield with the chimp. Someone's got to be the handler. Ah, yo, man, I ain't no chimp. Donald might be one, but I sure as hell have a little bit of a brain that I can use to make plays. Donald has to process shit like he's a VHS tape. Okay, man, I dish you that and you dish that out like it's candy? The hell, man, you'd think after that passing play we'd be on the same wavelengths. And if we are, I'll tell you, I'm not thinking about how Donald has no brain. Yeah, let me learn you something, young fella. We are not on the same wavelengths. You see, there are long waves and short waves. Being your fattest shit, you're going to be on the long waves because your body is more heavy, weighing down the waves. Get it? Only thing I get is that sleep is a beautiful thing when I listen to your ass talk. There are more pauses in one of your sentences than indictments on Trump. That's saying something. Okay, that might be a stretch. He paused like 30 times. Oh shit, nice shot, Obama. We like an early lead like that. All right, let's all relax. We have a two-goal lead. Let's just, you know, hold that. We have to get through four more minutes of this crap. And knowing us, we're probably going to toss. Yeah, just put it out in the universe like that, man. You wonder why we toss. You always say we toss before we toss. Joe, your kickoff is hot ass. What the actual shit do you think is going to happen when you can't speed flip? And that goes all the way back in the corner where they get a free shot. Great, man. You say we're tossing and actually start tossing. Bro, it was accidental. I didn't mean to screw up the kickoff. I was going to throw it back, right? Then you would have had a free ball. It just didn't pan out. He got the height on it. Got the height on it because you and your Model T kickoff get to the ball two years after that guy gets to it. 
Maybe learn to speed flip and stop complaining about shit. You know what, you should use the new Lightning McQueen car. Maybe that will make your ass fast or make you just have a reason to play rascal flats through the mic every time you score. Life is a highway, you're going my way all night long. Just don't, don't ever do that again, Donald, you're off key. Your hair somehow managed to find its way into the singing. It's just all trash. Throwing it to you, Daddy. I mean, Obama, let him cook. Shoot it, man, try and shoot it. Let's go. Joe, did you just call Obama Daddy, bro? What are you on? I get you got some new dementia meds, but didn't know they had some zesty Chick-fil-A sauce on them. Donald finding a way to tie something back into food is somehow not surprising at all. Also, Joe, bro, you need to dial it back. It's one thing to love the homies. It's another to be whatever you were. Look, it was heat of the moment. It won't happen again, I swear. Let's just pretend it didn't happen and move on or something. I'm not trying to get grilled by y'all for saying daddy one time by accident. It's the dementia. You know, I think we could all blame something, but if you say that, man, that's all you big dog that ain't no brain inactivity, that's brain hyperactivity. And you're not jumping for the save there's brain stupidity. Why not focus on your play instead of focusing on a comment that I already forgot Joe made? Jesus, you'd think if you were talking all this shit like scrub killer, you'd be just as good. Sorry, I didn't fall off like scrub. Like that dude hasn't been relevant for like a year or two. I swear he's about as known as Cronovi. You gotta be at your peak to fall off. And you, sir, are not even close to a peak. Unless that peak is chromosome count, I think you're capping. I peak like Cronovi all the time. He was goaded on the sticks in season one and then with a rapid decline, lost all of his momentum. They called his ass the mountain, but he was more like a slight hill. Bro, I swear y'all are just jealous of my ability. Not my fault God didn't bless y'all like he blessed me. Imagine sucking at Rocket League and at life. Dang, he just wombo comboed y'all with a shit hand. Bro, you may have money, but do you got bitches? I think not. Oh, shut up, Joe. You flirting with the nurses at the retirement home is not having bitches. It's more like having someone to talk to while you wither away alone because Jill is just waiting for you to croak so she can collect the life insurance. Wouldn't surprise me, that relationship was on the rails anyway. Figured it was bound to happen eventually. Guess the time is now. Says the one who had like three wives, imagine you pulled wins like you pulled half-ass relationships, then you might actually be SSL right now instead of rocking a title and damn near GC1. Joe, shut up, you're making me choke, man. Jesus, can you just like shut up? It's not that deep. God, it's like talking to your grandpa and you're trying to hang up the phone, but he just keeps yapping. Dang, Donald! Did you just hype yourself up at the end of that little rage you just had? Bro, like what? How down bad is your ego? My boy, you good? God, man, I've never seen someone out of touch with reality. They hype themselves up after a burn. Yeah, he did it before in one of the old videos, I swear, got that shit on file just in case he wants to say he didn't. Whip it out like Donald whips out his family size bag of peanut M&Ms. Okay, first, I don't eat the family size bag. I'm watching my figure. Also, you need to realize that I'm here because I want to play on this team, not because I have to. I can dip at any point if you want to start cooking. I'll leave the kitchen. You leaving the kitchen? Yeah, on what planet? Jupiter, right? Isn't that the planet your ass orbits? You know, I just realized we blew a lead. Like, how do we manage to blow a lead like that? We were up like three goals or two goals, whatever it was at one point, just to let them tie it up. Well, Donald choked twice. Oh shit, come on, why is it me? Oh my God, this kid is peeking on me. You have gotta be joking, bro. What the hell is this man? God dang it. You're saying that you were joking? More like you're choking. Yeah, welcome to the club, bitch. I'm the leader, so don't try to overthrow the leadership like you tried in Iraq. I'm gonna overthrow y'all both off a cliff if y'all don't start focusing. Like, straight up, you both are ass at defense and missed three of the easiest touches I've ever seen. Roast here, roast there, I'm better than you. No, you're not. Jesus, it's like I'm hanging out with the special ed kids in middle school all over again. Y'all, 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 Jesus, man, if I had a nickel for every time you said that, I could probably get an ice cream, which isn't that much, but you know what I mean? I know the viewers are gonna be mad that we're choking. Well, they're mad at Joe. He's the one who fucks with the videos. I just look good in them straight up. You just keep their attention like those half movie, half app game TikToks. Welcome to the world of inability to focus on one thing. So he puts you up in the top right and they're all wondering how they fit such a fat bitch inside a tiny screen. Or how they fit so much toupee in a screen. I'll be honest, it's not easy. Your hair flaps around every time I move the picture so it's hard to get it just right. All right, we all got a licks in. Can we please focus now? We just blew a big ass lead like that and lost the match. We're one game away from losing the finals. I'm not trying to lose the finals. My boys, I need another white title and Obama needs one too. Focus up.
I'm not going to be a loser. Love the motivational speech, Orange Justice. Finals game two. What more can you ask for in this world other than for Donald to stop breathing? Probably for you to use more brain power when you try to give a speech and when you do basic day-to-day -day activities. But hey, that's just me. I'm not trying to be toxic. Not trying to be toxic, but is toxic. Noted, banned, reported, and deported from the U.S. Do not pass go, do not collect $200, and do not collect your W-2. Implying he would have done it anyway, man avoids IRS paperwork like it will kill him if he touches it. Nah, uh, I'm focused on what really matters, and that's living. I just don't want to be focused on less important things in life like some of y'all. What a dinger of a pass, Obama. We're already up. Let's go, boys. You know, I think this might be the first time we actually do something productive in a tournament. I mean, have you seen our previous runs, 12 episodes of us having seizures trying to play this crap? That was just you, Joe. You don't have the brain power to actually process what's going on. So even the slightest bit of movement makes you kill over. Not like it was a difference maker anyway. We still win without you. Thanks, Joe. I'm glad someone appreciates these dimes I dish out Donald over there eating off this dish, but not recognizing one that's in front of him. The only thing that is getting eaten here is my MMR when I'm playing with y'all. You're just lucky I want to beat this trash can hard flexor who has top 100 in twos and ones in his name. God, I hate trash cans like that. Fuck Smurfs for real. Let it be known that Donald plays on a Smurf because he gets shit on in Grand Champ, so he goes into lower ranks to hit the flip resets he couldn't hit in his normal rank. Bro needs to find another hobby because grinding RL ain't it. Yeah, I got another hobby. Babysitting your dementia ass. I swear it's like talking to a Barbie doll that has an automated voice response, but this one comes to life and somehow makes you less intelligent than when you started talking to it. A lot of talk coming from the guy who didn't even show up to the Republican debate. Bro was just scared of the competition and was scared about getting hard roasted for real. Yeah, even I showed up to our convention. I wasn't scared. I was a gamer and I knew that would carry over into arguments while you hid from your opponents because you thought if you said something to bad, they would unfollow your Twitter account. Them bitches didn't even follow it to begin with. Chris Christie is blocked. Nikki Haley, I mean who? And everyone else who didn't even warrant a mention, don't follow me. Hell, I don't even want their follow. Of course you don't want their follow. They're the competition. But like, how about this follow up what a shot from me, that's how it's done. Donald, get your chins out and write that down. Well done, Joe, slotted shot there if you ask me. Sit back and relax, Donald. Not to say you weren't already doing that on your lazy boy with your gut hanging out and controller on top. Yes, sir, we're carrying this orange rat. Man doesn't even know what to do. It's free Obama, rip it on net. Come on, nice shot, Obama, we like that. I know damn well it was free. I don't need your diamond comms, so stop that shit right now. I'd rather hear you cry about how Joe called you fat for the 80th time and how you're going to win the presidency again. Yeah, low key, I've kind of given up on it. Judging by the polls, it's chopped cheddar for the old J-Dog, but hey, we had a good run. We talking a good run into the ground, or are we talking a good run off a cliff? I need a solid metaphor to show you how shit your presidency has been and why half the country thinks you got dementia. Aren't they like the same thing? Running into the ground and running off a cliff are basically the same thing. Well, I guess if you're running off a cliff, it implies you did somewhat of a decent job, but then just fell off like a washed NFL player. But then again, it could also have never been solid if you're already on the edge of a cliff. But what if you got the momentum before? My presidency was more solid than your cholesterol. I've been doing some incredible things like signing papers and giving out Easter eggs to kids on holidays. I forgot which one it was, but it's the one with the giant bunny. Okay, my cholesterol isn't solid, so get destroyed. Oh shit, they really dropped an FF already? Oh, heard we might actually have a chance to win this one. Game three. Wait, is this going to be one video, Joe? I guess those kids got absolutely destroyed that game. All we need is like one quick goal, and that's what usually has us turn on the Jets. Well, Pierce to us probably choking again, calling it now there's a reason the Vegas odds are plus 300 for us to win. Probably because we had to carry Donald, and he really hasn't done much. Wait on net. I'm sorry, what did you say? Who got the first goal, bitch? Wake up, Joe. Wake up, sleepy Joe. You're missing some quality action. I didn't even see it. Oh yeah, I guess that was a good play. But you didn't do that yourself. It was my dime that set you up for that. Yeah, that blind yeet across the map really set the motion of the ocean. You really threw it upfield and called it a dime. Blindly hitting the ball and me using it to do something productive isn't what I would call a pass, Joe. I would call it a half-ass attempt at a clear. Oh my fucking God, oh my God, oh my God, I clipped. Oh my God, I'm like that, I'm like that. Oh my God, oh my God, did you see that? 
Yeah, I saw it. And my monotoned reaction should imply that was the most basic platinum ranked training pack shot I've ever seen. I mean, bonus points on the placement, but it was not something you should be hyperventilating over. Yeah, you should be hyperventilating over a basic walk, but we still tolerate your shit. Let him hype up, man. Why do you got to be a Debbie Downer? I thought you ate Little Debbies like they were Skittles. I do like Little Debbies. Don't mean I have to support a mid-shot and go like that. And don't say it's just because I'm mad I didn't get to pass it. Nice shot, Joe. You got these kids raging over here. They're typing up a storm. I would show it, but, uh, well, it's not appropriate. Let's just say that. A new day, a new day victory for the OGs. What does that word even mean? This guy is just spitting out toxic remarks in chat like it's candy. That's bannable, right? Y'all want a mass report? See if we can get him cooked with the automation system Epic has in place. Hell yeah, screw this guy. You know what, type in the comments who you think was the one calling us vulgar words. And I'll let y'all know if you get it right. It is painfully obvious. Ooh, ooh, who was it? I wanna know, who was it? Joe, you can literally see the chat, my boy. What are you doing? You know what? Type in the comments of your own video and just we'll let you know if you get it right. We're gonna need your login though. Yeah, we're going to use it for honest purposes and nothing else. Not like we're gonna use it to comment on negative comments and fight some of the negativity you got spewing in your community. Bro, are you really that pressed because one guy on one video called you the dead weight of the team? Bro, that was like one month ago. How are you still tearing up about that? God and I thought Michelle was the one who had issues. Nah, my two leg parlay was on him. I knew it would end up being him. I don't think Michelle went crazy until after she was the first lady and all that healthy lunch shit started happening. Hey, that healthy lunch shit would have helped you so much back in the day when you were downing fully loaded original Coca-Colas and sugar-based apple pie. I'm just saying your heart might have had a few more years if you let my wife cook. Literally, you should have let her cook. Nah, man, I hated broccoli instead of pizza. I mean, really, what are we, Swedish or some shit? This is America. We're destined to be fat. Well, some of us, actually, one-third of our group is fat, which about the size of the U.S. population, so we're a pretty accurate depiction of the statistics of the weight problem America has. Anyway, I still would be mad about not having pizza for lunch. Leave it, Donald. I got it. Yep. Yep, we won a tournament. Oh, my God, we won an SSL tournament, guys. Holy God, we did it. We have titles. We all have titles now. Let's go. I've always wanted an updated title. I got tired of that crappy season 11-1. Yo, we can all have matching titles. The presidents are victorious, and the world must know. We finally came out on top. We finally persevered. God knows, with all the setbacks, it was impossible. Wait, what the fuck? That was a GC one? What is this highway robbery shit? We were supposed to be in a SSL tourney. You said it was SSL Obama. What the fuck? You have got to be kidding me. We have to restart again to get into a SSL tourney. I don't want this bland-ass doo-doo looking title. I want a white one that screams fake SSL because it's the only title we're ever going to get. Speak for yourself there, kid. I'm cooking with my season six SSL title. I'm happy enough with where I'm at to actually not have to be pressed about getting an SSL tourney win. Nope, you're not doing that shit. We're requeuing the next one. We're not stopping until we win an SSL title. We deserve it. We need matching titles. That's the only way this relationship is going to work, man. We need to be a legit team. Christ, Joe, you're really acting like we're kissing over here. All right, I'm down. Let's roll.